Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I want to show you a gentleman who has a um, suspected biceps rupture, a distal biceps rupture. This is Art. Art is 74 years old, and you injured this about three weeks ago? Uh, probably a month. Probably about a month ago, okay. Month ago. And um, explain to us how this happened. I was trying to take off, a, I had a flat tire, and I was trying to take the tire off, and I couldn't get it pulled off, so I got a block of wood and I was beating on the rim. And as I was beating on it, I felt a big snap right in here. Okay. And it hurt, it hurt, you yeah. know. And then I, but I kept right on working at it and beating on it. I mean, hey, we was up in the woods, I had to get out. That's right, that's right, you were kind of stuck there, so. Right. Um, did it bruise at the time or cause any swelling that you remember? I don't recall, but there used to be a, a, like a lump right in here. Okay. And I noticed uh, the lump is somewhat diminished a little bit. Okay, all right. So, one of the things that we notice right off when we take a look at him is that his bicep is kind of elevated up here. So go ahead and, and flex your arm like this for me. Okay, so you can see that, how it's elevated. It's a little bit higher um, than the other side. Give me the other side. See, we have a nice bicep right there. So, one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just kind of check the integrity. To me, this is a distal bicep rupture. But one of the things we can do is we can check to see if he's able to hold against resistance. So we're going to do the, the elbow flexion first. I want you to hold it right there. Don't let me pull it down. And he offers really good resistance. That's because his underlying brachialis muscle is really doing all the work. This is where it shows its true colors. So I want you to let that elbow down like this. And, do, and if you want to bring the camera this way a little bit so that you can see the bicep. That'll be good, and now we can back off a little bit so you can see me resist here. What I'm looking for is I'm gonna have you to hold that arm like that, and don't let me turn the hand inward, okay? So hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Okay, give me everything you've got. Hold, don't let me, put, don't let me turn it in. Okay, so you push against me. He has nothing, okay? And this, this side, hold, don't let me turn it. Hold, hold, hold. One of the things you'll notice is the integrity of the biceps is good here. So hold here, don't let me turn the arm in, and I can move the bicep muscle all over the place. That's another way to indicate that the bicep is, is uh, disrupted and not holding very well here. So the biceps is a big supinator, and that's really, to me, the better way to manual muscle test this. Now, the special test that I like to use the most for this to identify if it's torn is the hook test. So we're gonna drop this arm. What you do is you have your patient put the hand like this in front of their face, so go ahead and do that. And then I go ahead and I reach in here and I'm able to feel his bicep tendon and I'm able to put my finger right around it and hook it really well, okay, right there. Now we do the same thing on this side. And if I try to get in here, there's nothing to put my finger around, okay? So it tells me that he has ruptured his distal bicep in that area. He's not having a tremendous amount of pain, but does notice some weakness with um, using a screwdriver anytime he's rotating and anytime he's doing some, some flexing like this, it can shaving. give him a little pain. Shaving also. Shaving, yeah, okay. Yeah. So at this stage of the game, we are gonna consult with an orthopedic surgeon and uh, decide on where we go from here. If he's very functional and he's not having a lot of pain, he may live the rest of his days um, with his arm like this and not necessarily need a repair, but um, that's not for us to decide, and um, we will uh, consult with the right people at the right time, okay? So if you liked this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, and um, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so, so that every time we put out a new video, you'll get a notification uh, when it comes out. Thanks a lot for watching, and thank you, Art, for being my uh, trusted patient again. Guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.